Just working on this little experiment here. Put my little power poles up here, but uh, I thought I won't be able to do it tonight. The, the sky is just beautiful. This is amazing. 8th of April. Okay viewers, I've set up my uh, three power poles here and I just want to check the sagging of particular cables. I've got a copper conductor strung here, 2.5 mil and um, just onto a 42 volt power source. And I'm going to overload it and see how much the cable is going to sag as such. Here we've got a ruler in centimeters, it sits at about 85 centimeters at the moment. And uh, yeah, now we're going to apply some current. Current is about 160 ampere. Well, viewers, this uh, experimental line is non fused, so uh, I'm going a bit to the extreme. So we'll just uh, see what happens. 160 ampere. It's quite a bit of line saggy already. Look at this, look at this, beautiful. Just dynamically go a bit sideways. Look how these lines have sagged. Still hanging in there. Down to 70 centimeters. Overloaded power line. I'm not sure if the camera picks up it, but it looks quite cool. You can see the air move. The current is uh, 120 ampere. It seems to have reached an equilibrium here somewhere. And I'm going to de energize and then we'll see how the line comes back off while it's cooling down. De energize the lines. This is quite awesome. A lot of heat. Back to 80 centimeters. I will conduct this experiment at night and see if we can have it glow. Looks pretty good. This was actually pre-stressed copper already. Oh well, idea how the layup is set up. Even got a stay wire at the end pole. And just rough uh, 50 mil going back to the device. There's a current transformator, an on-off contactor, a couple of TVs, a power volt, power transformator, 42 volts, up to 200 ampere. <laughs> 